So moving ahead to the next question, this is suppose you offer zero coupon bond. So first of all, you should be clear with what is a zero coupon bond. Um, if you aren't, then I would recommend that you watch the video for unit 7.2. Now this is a zero coupon bond, uh, which is being offered at 245. So we have told you the market price as well with the face value of 1000 maturing in 20 years. So let me just write down this information. Let's make our data set. So our bond is zero coupon. So there will be no coupon payments. The coupon payments will be zero since the coupon rate is zero. The price of the bond, the bond value right now, the price is 245. I have put a zero over here because this is the price right now. The face value is 1000 and it will mature in 20 years. If the YTM on the bond is 8%, so the YTM on the bond is 8%, what will be the price of the bond after two years? So they don't want the bond price right now. They have already told you that. They want the bond price two years later. So let's make a timeline for this for better understanding. Okay, I have to go like this till 20. I'm just going to go dot, 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 and then just take it to 20. So basically, uh, this is your timeline over here from zero to 20. This is the total bonds duration. I haven't made all of them because it would have been too long. So they have given you the bond price right now. They have told you that the bond price right now is 245, but they don't want the price for right now. They want the price that will be two years later. So let's put the values in our bond valuation formula and see what happens. Because this is a zero coupon bond, there will be no coupon payment. So your bond valuation formula is Now over here, since your coupon payments are zero, you do not have any coupon payments. Over here, it's a zero coupon bond. You will only get the bar value back at the maturity time. This means this over here is zero. Now, if this is multiplying by this, this means that this whole thing will become zero. And you're only left with this much of the formula. So this is your formula in case you are dealing with a zero coupon bond. Your bond valuation formula will reduce to only this much. Once a bond matures, 20 years, you'll get a bar value of 1,000. So your face value is 1,000. Your interest rate is 8%. But what should be your N? Should your N be 20? Or should it be something else? You should think about this for a moment. This N represents the remaining life of the bond. So now if you think about it, you want the bond price at two years. So if somebody is purchasing this bond at the end of the second year, his coupon payment will start from here. Year three, four, five, six. So what is the remaining life of the bond for somebody who is purchasing the bond at year two? It's going to be 18 years. Your N is going to be 18 over here. Yes? The complete maturity of the bond is 20 years. But if you had 
purchase the bond right now if you wanted to know the price right now then you would have used an n of 20 because n represents the remaining life of the bond but you want the end price two year later. So two years later, the remaining life of the bond is going to be 18 years. It's like it's somebody's life. You know, somebody is going to live for 20 years and you take two years out of their life. So they are left with 18 years of their life. So if you solve this, your answer will come to 50.25. So this bond is again a discount bond because it is trading for below the par value. So two years later, the price will be 250.25. Similarly, if you want to calculate the bond price 19 years later, 19 years later, if you want to calculate the bond price and the remaining life of the bond will only be one. In that case, you simply have to change N to one. You can find the bond price at any given year using this way. 